Hello Generals and let's all together start a new Conflict of Nations series. In this new map, 10 speed map, I was interested to try it for the first time, so here I am trying to join new game. I was thinking to join with Sweden and create a Scandinavian empire, but it was taken, unfortunately. But my second choice will be South Africa. I'd like to play with South Africa. It has been a while I did not make a series with an African country. This is why I'd like to uh, try the 10 speed map, World War 3 map, with South Africa. Just uh, small information about uh, uh, South Africa. We have like five homeland cities, bad resources production, so bad resources production, and we have two big neighbors that are Namibia and uh, Mozambique. We also have like two AI nations uh, by our side. Now I started the research of the motorized infantry because yeah, I bet that the first war is going to be a land war. This is why I'd like to have uh, as much uh, infantry as possible. Uh, well, it's the first time here actually I tried the motorized, uh, the 10x speed map, but with such speed making the national guards would be more adequate. Because we all know that National Guards, they are cheap and they take less time to be mobilized. So with uh, 10 speed, well, you are going to spam large numbers with National Guards, actually. But no problem. In today's uh, series, we are going to follow the path of the motorized infantry early game. And uh, of course, I'd like to make some strike fighters. I'm not going to make the elite attack aircrafts because I know that a lot of you has not unlock this elite unit so no worries i'm going to uh, play with um, a regular unit which is the strike fighters because i know if some one of you is going to copy uh, uh, my uh, strategy is it is going to be possible to play with um, uh, strike fighters so my first target is going to be gaburoni the capital of ba uh, botiswana that is um an AI, uh, AI nation of course, I'm going to need more supplies production because my supplies is um, so bad, especially if I am going to make um, motorized infantry that are consume more supplies. It's going to be a struggle here. In order to manage my resources perfectly, I'd like to get as much supply cities as possible. But early game, like I always say, um, it's better to go for active players first. Um, because, you know, if you are going to lose hit points on AI, uh, maybe the other players, they are going to hit you in the back. But let's see how this game is going to start. Here I am checking the armored vehicles, the armored, um, the hard targets here. I'd like to make either tanks with the combination of the motorized infantry and um, focus on melee uh, assault or just make air force. But in this case, with 10 x speed map, Air Force is going to be a good choice, a deadly choice, because, uh, yeah, if you are going to sit on your laptop, like, one hour, that is going to be 10 hours in-game. 10 hours in-game with Air Force is going to be enough to wipe out an entire army. Yeah, you are going to be able to wipe out an entire army. I'm going for the level 2 um, motorized infantry. By the way, all researches are unlocked since day one. It's not like the regular World War 3. So it's all about speed. It's all about agility. It's all about strategy. This is why everything is unlocked and you can go on a rampage in such a game on a rampage. Okay, now it's about time to start the research of the strike fighters. I do not have enough rare materials. I'm going to the market to buy something. Okay, there are a few offers here. I'm going to buy this one. I'm only just going to buy what I need. I'm not going to buy all of the offer because it's ex expensive and I need cash. Cash is going to be very important here um, to uh, level up my uh, buildings, to mobilize units and especially to make the researches of the units. I assembled my stacks. Here one is going to Botswana, the other one is going uh, here to KwaZulu-Natal. 
This is Namibia in a coalition. He is a beginner, but um, let's see if he is really a beginner. So many times, so many times. I think that this player is a beginner. And after we stumble, we face off an experienced player with a new account. A lot of times this happens to me. Like, I take someone lightly, I just go like usual, going to bully him. And after I find someone extremely active and he knows what he is doing actually. But let's uh, take KwaZulu Natal first here. Uh, the city which is supplies, which is also going to be extremely important for us for our uh, journey on the resources management in this game because another challenge with South Africa is going to be a bit um, special, it's going to be a bit hard because it's a small country after all with only five homeland cities in a 10 speed game. Why I am saying this? Because in a 10 speed game if you are going to play for example with Russia, China or United States of America in one real life day you are going to have like a tremendous amount of resources in your inventory and that is 100% is going to give you the upper hand on other nations yeah it's going to give you the upper hand from other nations okay um i started the, the assault KwaZulu Natal has fallen Botswana is under the fire of my artillery and it's about time to take them both down This is my capital, Cape Town. I'm uh, starting the upgrade of my air base to level 2. Like usual, everyone in the con news, they are insulting each other. <laughs> North Korea and Russia. Wow. <laughs> okay. So what do you think this game, uh, how do you think this game is going to start? Is it going to be peaceful? Is it going to be chaotic? Should I be the first one to attack or what is going to happen? I suggest that you stop the video in the second and in the comment section you tell me what do you think what is going to happen in the next minutes, what is going to happen in the future of this map. Of course, if it is going to be true, keep the comment. If it's false, no, do not delete your comment and keep it. And let's have fun together in the comment section. Okay, all my homeland cities that are spamming motorized infantry. I'm trying from time to time to upgrade a few um, arms industries. In my provinces also, I'm upgrading the local industries for resources. I'm trying to take uh, down the surrounding provinces here. Okay, the contact is established. And well, as expected boys, as expected, the chaos, the action is here, look at that. Namibia has declared war on us and he is trying to take down the city of Gaborone from us with a heavy recon division equipped with artillery. Well, I know that I'm trying here to assemble my, um, my stacks, but looks like Namibia is a bit heavy there. I'm going to take back my, uh, my Taut artillery to be able to... First, I do not want it to get caught in the melee attack and also I want it to keep attacking from distance. Look at that. Okay, that was expected. That was expected. We have an active player here, Namibia, that is going to be a headache for us and let's try to manage. Now all my home and cities, they are not protected that he might go straight to my capital and my other home and cities. It's going to be a struggle here to stop him from this assault. It's going to be a struggle to contain him, but I will wait for my air force to arrive. Like that, it will be easier to contain this enemy. Uh, boys, I know, uh, our series, they are always surprising and they never cease to amaze us with action early game. So do not forget in the comment section to tell us what do you think is going to happen in the next episode. Let's meet tomorrow in episode 2 of the South African Kingdom. See you guys and bye bye.